Well, rise and shine, sleepyhead. It's best not to make any noise. Besides, you're well aware of where you're at. After all, you and I did share this for the longest time. That is, until you felt like things weren't working out between us. For some odd reason, the same person I thought would be grateful for my saving them three years ago from a pack of those flea bags on the 4th of July. I'm sure you remember that, right? Oh, <laughs> you're very cute, but you're not stupid. You remember the full moon festival at Town Square. You were wearing your all black outfit, those red shoes and those sunglasses. Mmm, perfection. It was going to be a night to remember. <laughs> it was, but not in the way you planned out, right? Do you remember how grateful you were and how one thing led to another? You asked me to be your boyfriend and I said yes. I sure do. But... Then I find out a week later, a fucking week later after we break up, that you go and get with that fuckboy, Taman, a goddamn werewolf. Oh, <laughs> naughty, naughty. Mm. What a damn shame. May I ask why? You could have dated another vampire, a half-breed, hell, I would have understood a ghoul, but no, you somehow thought it would be a good idea to get with one of them. By the way, is he the reason why you and I stopped talking even though you promised that you still love me and you will always be a friend to me? <laughs> Did he tell you that he harbors a deep hatred for vampires? He did. Oh, and, uh, did you happen to tell him that your ex-boyfriend was a vampire? A handsome, blood-sucking, vindictive vampire? Oh, you didn't tell him. Oh, how very, very, <laughs> oh, you... Oh, you, you, you. <laughs> Already lying to your new boyfriend? <laughs> what a bitch. Hey, don't give me that look. You're the one that's lying. At least I was open about my tendencies when we were together. I mean, I didn't really hear you complaining when you used to beg me to feed on you. Remember that? Remember how you used to beg? For me to kiss your neck, trace your veins with my tongue, and sink my fangs into your neck. <laughs> I'm surprised you were able to hide the bite marks. <laughs> Aww, you're so cute. You really want to know why I'm doing this? Are you really that dense? I'm doing this because I think that this is your punishment for lying to me and backstabbing me. Why else? Because I'm crazy? <laughs> oh, my sweetheart. My gorgeous, beautiful ex. We all go a little crazy sometimes. But, name calling aside, I do have a special plan for you. Do you remember the one thing I swore I could never do to you? Or, well, one of the things I said I couldn't do to you? <laughs> oh, <laughs> don't I scared now? 
For the past three years, I swore off doing that one thing because I didn't want to damn you to a life of misery and hatred. But, seeing as you moved on to that puppy dog, Taman, I might as well send you back to him with the gift you've always wanted. And what a fucking surprise that'll be to him. Mm. <laughs> don't bother fighting this. Oh, don't act scared now. Don't act scared now that my hand is wrapped around your neck. Your fate was sealed the day I found out you lied to my face and betrayed me. <laughs> Don't worry. This will only hurt for a while. Makes it taste all the more sweeter. Their resistance. Hey, hey, stay awake a little while longer. Say, ah. Uh. Drink up. Come on. Come on. There we go. Shh. Drink as much as I tell you. Just let it happen. Just let it happen. <laughs> this is your destiny. Oh baby, my sweetheart. You're all mine again. <laughs> to do this. Go back to Taman. Let him see the new you. I'll be here for you. My love. Always and forever. Just like how you told me. <laughs>